Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very different episode of Rogue Hobbies, where today I have gone virtual, and it is very, very strange. But I'm still here. I still exist. Wait, where am I? There I am. Hi. But also, whoa. Freaky. I recently got a MetaQuest headset so I could play some VR games. And I really love VR. I've always really liked it. But now VR has progressed so that there's even Warhammer games that I can play, which is super, super cool. And I'm really excited to maybe play some of these games here. But today, I'm not here to play games. I am here to do what I usually do on this channel and push my abilities, not in shooting, not in bopping skeletons on the head, but I want to push my abilities in miniature painting and see if I can paint the world's best miniature completely in virtual reality. Let's see if I can do it. Whoosh. Oh, wait, my fingers. Whoosh. <laughs> The game we're playing here is called Demio, or Demio? I'm not really sure which one is the correct pronunciation, but it is a tabletop kind of simulator VR game. That's the main game. It looks a little bit like D&D, &D, and I absolutely love the aesthetic of this room. It's very, I was a nerd in the 80s, which is super cool. But we're not going to be playing the main game. What I'm interested in, though, is the hero's hangout portion of the game, which apparently should have somewhere where we can paint a miniature. So let's go there. Oh, OK, here we are. The hero's hangout. <gasps> Shut up. This is so cool. Are those the painting tables? No, they don't look like the ones I saw in that video. <gasps> but this is so Hello! Hello, little guy! Oh no! Huh, I'm sorry. Let's put you on the table. Oh, I see some miniatures over here. Can I, can I have a look? Hello! A bard and a wizard. And they were in love and they kissed. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine then. Wait a minute. <gasps> Green. I mean, I know I'm not painting, but... Oh, she ain't bad at archery. No, she ain't good at it. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. She's not even looking. Oh, sad now. <gasps> Is that another? Huh? Huh? This is great. I will buy him. I wish to purchase the baby. Ma'am? Okay, she's ignoring me, that's fine. Enough tomfoolery. Let's try- Painting room! Bingo! Bingo, painting room. Let's have a little look. <gasps> yes, oh my god. Okay. Are those Citadel paints? <gasps> no! Shut up. They have all the old Citadel paints. Okay, so this is comfy. Bonan. <laughs> Bonan. Let's sit down somewhere and paint. <gasps> okay, here we are at the painting desk. Oh, it lines up with my painting desk in in real life. Okay, that's weird. Okay, that's, that's very strange. <gasps> okay, so I can pick up the miniature and he is a cute little goblin-y looking guy. And there's, <gasps> oh, all right. Okay, so there's other miniatures we can paint. We have a troll who I think I will definitely be painting. We have some eggs. You've got little guy, little guy holding a book. He's pretty cute. Oh, okay. Okay, apparently I can make him big and small. That's extremely useful. Wapa, 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 wapa. Oh, and he goes, <laughs> could go down. <laughs> Your books, <are. laughs> Okay, let's stop goofing. Oh, 
It's a whatchamacallit. A canvas. Oh, it's a can. Oh, that's handy. So if you want to just do a painting, you've got a canvas. Right, I need to sit back a little bit. Oh, where's my crotch? Okay, cool. So you can move the desk. Hello. So move the desk to a comfortable place. Um, looks like we have a palette with colors. Oh, oh, I was thinking that's not a lot of colors. Can I pick it up? Oh, look at that. Okay, we have thinner. Does that, wait. I assume that just gets rid of anything. And then this one, this one fills, maybe? So let's pick a color. Let's make it parchmenty. Oh, okay. So that one, that one like fills the paper. Awesome, okay. And then we have our brushes. Shall we try out the, <gasps> An airbrush. Oh, that's gonna be useful. Okay. I wanna get cracking, but I feel like a good place to start is like try everything out on here first. So I'm gonna do that. Let's pick a color. Let's just go, I don't know, red? Do I just point to it? And then it's on the brush. So then our brush has the color. <gasps> Amazing. So let's just, okay. So we have like a thick brush. Is it like sensitive to my touch? If you know what I mean, a little bit. Let's try this medium brush. No, the medium one. No, the, yes. Okay. Oh, it is. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look, you can get quite a fine line on it. I'm impressed. Not the neatest thing I've ever done. I don't know how this is going to go on a miniature, but can I? <gasps> oh, this is so nice. Did we try the airbrush? No. <gasps> I can do- oh, wow. Okay, so with an airbrush, it's not very small, but does it like disperse? Not in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Can... <laughs> nice. And then, when it's done, dippy dippy, paint strippy. What shall we paint? Honestly, him. Oh, it's him! <gasps> At you, look! He's kind of green over there. Like, good reference. I think I'll paint him like I paint a goblin. Because I've painted so many goblins that I feel... I feel comfortable. Oh, this is going really well! What? Oh, and then... Oh, that's useful. Oh, that's so... That's so handy. I'm managing to be, like... Quite precise with it in a way that I wasn't really expecting. <gasps> okay, he can hover in midair as well. Oh, that's useful. If I make him smaller, do you think I can like do it quicker? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, absolutely, I can do it quicker if I make him smaller. Smart. I almost, almost am getting immersed in miniature painting, like, I'll just be like, oh yeah, I'm painting a miniature, and then it's like, nah. Everything floats. And it's weird again. I keep trying to find, like, better lighting, but that shadow is just on the miniature, so RIP his leg. It's just gonna be in darkness forever. So we're gonna do the pink bits on his nose. I don't know, Let's start with this color? Should I pick him? <laughs> I just tried to rest my hand on the table. Like I was actually painting. Oh, that's bad. Oh, they got me with the immersion. Oh, God. Oh, okay, that's spooky. Right, let's... <laughs> I forgot I wasn't in real life. This paintbrush is so weird. But look, I can be quite precise with it. Like... Oh, never mind. <laughs> right, let's get that dropper bottle. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that, sir. Okay, let's do his tusks too. Might switch to an airbrush for this. May regret that later. Oh! Made a whoopsie. Oh! Oh, crikey. Oh. Oh, I am messing. Oh, it goes through. Okay, that's... That's fair. That's how physics works. I should, I should have been more careful. Still, it's pretty accurate. Like, that was pretty cool, right? I don't think I'm going to be able to get the blends that I want with the airbrush. But there's enough colors that I should be okay. Just, like, blending the colors anyway. Right, let's do his eyeballs. I think for his eyeballs, we're going to go with this, like... I tried to lean on the table again. Oh, I'm a bit shaky. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, I forgot. Eh, <laughs> cheating. Like, oh yeah, I just painted it that small. Yeah, yeah, psych. Oh, I'm gonna do this little bit of pink in his... Oh, that's... Oh, I'm sorry. You know, everyone always focuses on oral hygiene, sir, but you should really focus on your ears because look at the color. That's not right. That's not healthy. Okay, I'm not mad at those base coats. I think it looks pretty cool. Again, I keep holding it to the light to check it. But yeah, I'm not mad at that base coat. Okay, I think we're gonna skip the um, clothes for now and I wanna focus on the face. I wanna focus on getting the face looking real good. So it's a good size. Let's go with that for now and let's start, I guess, Shading and highlighting the face. Oh, it's so cute. Let's start shading and highlighting your little face. So I don't know if I should like recess shade this guy because he's kind of already pre-shaded. It's like a little a little slap chop moment. So I might just go straight in with the highlight. So obviously the next highlight up should be this. So let's let's focus on the face. Okay. That is brighter than I was expecting. I guess that's what we're working with, unless... Nope, too blue. I guess that's what we're working with. We're working with this color here. All right, I'm just gonna put this on all the, the more raised parts of the miniature. The miniature in VR that I'm painting. I mean, this is cool, right? Like, it's got me. It's got me fully immersed in painting a miniature. It feels... Like, I know it's messed up, and I know my hands are, like, disjointed and I have no crotch, but apart from that, and the fact that I can, like, woo, do that, it feels like I'm painting a miniature. A little bit. Maybe, maybe a lot? Something's weird. I don't know. I feel at home here. Maybe it's the old Citadel pots, but I feel at home here. If this was like an actual me painting simulator, it would be like, duh, 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 duh. brush, 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 lick the brush, lick the, whoa, put the brush in your eyeball. Don't do that. Should I start doing some like hair strokes here? Is that gonna work? Oh, a little bit. Okay, I can do some hairy little hair strokes. Yeah, all right, that didn't go so bad. So let's switch to this smaller brush and see if we can't do some really tiny edge highlights. In fact, hello, sir. Okay, not bad. I mean, not good, but not bad. Not bad, but not good. Let's see if we can bring that highlight. It's kind of an edge highlight. I mean, there's the edge. I bet like better painters than me would absolutely smash this. I'd love to see some really cool painters give this a go because I don't know. I'm being, I'm playing it, I feel like I'm playing it a little bit safe. Maybe a bit safe, but I don't know.
Oh, I'm having fun. I don't think there's a lot of people painting miniatures in VR, so I just thought it would be cool. So when I hinted online that I wanted to paint a miniature in virtual reality, like I am doing here, I had a few people be like, why? Why would you paint a miniature in VR when you can paint one in real life? To which I say, because it's fun. I love miniature painting and I kind of like pushing the boundaries a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, like making a Play-Doh space marine and doing things that I've never done before and using paint schemes that make me uncomfortable. And I guess doing this is in a way just like another one of those. If you're enjoying me painting this miniature in VR, please leave a comment to tell me that you are enjoying this because this is really weird. This is not what I usually do. Also, if you are new here, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Um, I really appreciate it if you did. Thank you. <laughs> it's looking like a me miniature though, which is kind of cool. Like it does look like I've painted it in my style of painting, which considering this isn't real is pretty cool. I don't know, I don't know. I think it's cool. What color shall we make the eyeball? I'm kind of feeling orange, but like a light orange. Okay, concentrate, Louise. Concentrate. Oh. Oh. Okay. <gasps> okay, that went all right, I think. Let's do the other one, see if we can get them looking in the same direction. It's a bit wonky, but I'm not mad. I'm not furious. Okay, I think I might try and dot the eye with like a dark red. This may look bad, but we're gonna try it out. Oh no, that's cute! Oh, let's do the other one! Is he looking in the same direction? S sort of. Okay. <laughs> I think that's kind of cute. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty pleased with how this is going. Am I going crazy? Like, should I be proud of this? Is this is this something to be proud of? I don't know, but I like it. I feel the face is looking pretty done, but I kind of want to paint. I kind of want to try doing some non-metallics, like ballsy because I'm no good at doing non-metallics in regular life, but I feel like on the arm here, I'm going to try and do some non-metallics. Yes. Yes. Let's do that. Let's do some more saturated non-metallics, shall we? Oh, I'm getting a little messy. That's okay. So let's add in our first highlight there. Maybe I should have started darker. I feel like I'm cheating a little bit. I want to just like, you know when you like scrape your brush on the side of like a bit of a miniature to make an edge highlight? I kind of want to do that here, but I... Oh, it's kind of working. Oh, I feel like that was a good edge highlight. I think I accidentally just did a nice edge highlight. Ooh! What a beautiful edge highlight, Louise. Ah! Oh, why, thank you. If I end up doing better non-metallics in VR than I do in real life, I'm gonna scream. What do you think? I don't think that's terrible. It looks kind of sparkly. It looks kind of, kind of gold. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> so now that I've done the gold on his arm, you know, I want to do this like a gem. Like I feel like that's the next step in pushing myself is is doing like the gem effect on here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to and I'm I'm gonna, excited to do it. I'm excited to do it. Okay. So once I've base coated it dark red, I go in with like is that too light? Maybe. 
we're gonna try it anyway. And we do like the big highlight there. And then we do like a slightly more subtle one underneath. Okay, not a bad start, not a bad start. Maybe do a tiny bit of orange down there. It's a bit, it's, uh, it's a little gem. It's a bit of a gem. Okay, keep on bringing that orange highlight up. Let's move it into yellow. Add just a tiny bit of that color down here undo because it looks bad and then let's do some little tiny highlights oh i'm not mad at that i think it could be better i think it could be way better but but i think it looks like a gem i think it looks like a little bit of a gem okay i think he looks like a little bit of a gem I think he does too. Oh, he's so precious. Okay. How much more do I want to do to this miniature? Because I don't think I can spend a hundred years painting this. I think I'm just going to add some, like, basic highlights so it doesn't look too weird with the face being totally done. I can always finish off this miniature later. I'm in no rush. Super simple. Little tootsies. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see the tootsies. Okay, that's his skin, like the most basic done ever ignore ignore that Ig ignore that right let's do his little dungarees i guess we'll move on to his little dungarees and then we might call him finish so it looks like his little dungies are kind of sort of mourn fang brownie tuscor fur so let's see if that looks good oh yeah i like that color i like that color let's do that should i make him smaller is this smart or stupid? A bit of both. It's quicker, but I don't know how accurate I'm being. Uh... Oh, I did quite well there. Oh, yay. Okay. And then we should do, we do like a lighter brown for his dungies. Yes, I like that. I like that lighter brown. Okay, I think those are cute colors for that. Should we try, because it's quite a big area. Should I try airbrushing his tummy? Oh, you see, that's too light. Let's try this pink. Okay, kind of. Sort of. I might just keep this bit super simple. Add a few more highlights to these straps. Okay. Oh, I forgot his little buttons. <gasps> His little buttons. Give his little buttons some highlights because we love him. You know what could be cute? It could be cute to add like, because that's quite a large area. Should we try adding some like paint splatters on him? Let's see if it looks good. So here's like, I think that's cute. I think we're gonna add a few paint splatters on him so he looks like he's a little painter. Oh, I love it. Oh, he looks like he's been painting. Oh, that's cute. Yes, let us do this. Oh, it's cute. If I give him his little paintbrush, he looks like he's been painting. Oh, <laughs> why is he so cute? Can I take that, sir? Thank you. What a cutie pie. He's been painting just like me. And then I think, I think, you know, I think he's done. What do you think? Let me put this out the way. I think I've done pretty well. I think he's a cutie pie. I don't know. I, I'm pretty... I'm pretty proud of him. Sure, he needs like painting around, but I could finish him off later. But for now, I think I've done a pretty good job. I have painted a miniature completely in VR. And I feel like that's an achievement. And I think he looks pretty cute as well. And I think my non-metallics are 
strangely better than when I do them in real life, but we're not talking about that. Let's just, let's just ignore that. Just, just go away. <laughs> I know this has been a bit of a strange video, but I have had such a blast playing around and looking at this miniature and painting it in VR. So please let me know if you would like me to do more videos like this in the future, or if you have any recommendations for other games you'd like me to play, or even if you just like this video, let me know in the comments section and maybe I'll do it again sometime, who knows. But for now, I'm afraid that is all we have time for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you for being a rogue. I will see you in the next one. Bye! Say bye! Bye! <laughs>